A proposed charter school in Graniteville, South Carolina is not going to open anytime soon. News Channel 6 has learned the application submitted to the BOE for Cotton Mill Charter School was denied because it was incomplete. News Channel 6's Stephanie Borman with more on why that application was lacking. Despite leaders of the institution arguing that another school could help overcrowding in Aiken County Public Schools, it wasn't enough to convince the Board of Education. A spokesperson for CMCS says they're disappointed, but they are now exploring other options to determine the future of the charter school. Crowded hallways aren't an issue at Horse Creek Academy, but that's not the case for the rest of the county. I know Bird Elementary is got a, what, 119 percent capacity right now. Since opening the charter school has relieved public schools of nearly 600 students. It's not that we're going to get all the kids out of their schools. We're going to get a good percentage. I mean, this year we'll take about 542 here, but we do cap hours. Principal Mark Brown says he's thrilled to hear of the proposed Cotton Mill Charter School that could be built in Graniteville, but he wasn't surprised to learn it was denied its first attempt at getting the BOE's approval. It's difficult to get that charter school application in and get all the materials. So um, from my understanding, a lot of times first time is, is pretty much a no. Brown says out of dozens of charter school applications last year, only one was approved in the state of South Carolina. CMC's request was denied for two main reasons. A spokesperson for the Board of Education says the proposed curriculum needs to be more clear. And the school also didn't nail down any grants, a big red flag for the district. And funding a charter school is not cheap. Our budget this year was $3.4 million. Still, some parents feel cramming students and teachers into tight spaces is not an option. Just with all the explosion of growth happening here in Graniteville, I mean, is that definitely something that needs that is needed here? I believe so. Mm -hmm. Cotton Mill Charter School can reapply for its application again on February 1st of next year. Superintendent Dr. Sean Alford has offered the institution's leaders several advice pieces. To learn more about CMCS, please visit our website at WJBF.com. Jenny, back to you.